Have you ever needed forgiveness? I've never known a person who wasn't in need of forgiveness. At some time. Well, he was the lead actor in a film called Penance that we had. It's a short film. It made it to our finalist level, and that's uh, something that we don't take lightly. He plays a priest that is a pedophile, and uh, he's questioned by the other actor in the in the short film. And we just thought it was tough subject subject matter, and and we we kind of took it for what it was worth, a great artistic piece. And then eventually, uh, as the news started to break, chills kind of went up our spine and the hair stood up in the back of our neck. And, you know, it's just one of those things that are just really uncanny when art imitates life like that. It was a stellar performance. I mean, it was really... Um, we don't give a Best Acting Award at Catalina, but what, this would have been in, in the consideration. Uh, both of the actors are so on point and, and they truly have that emotion driving behind them. And it was uncanny, um, especially after the news, you know, because it was portrayed so well. And uh, if anyone sees the piece, I think they'll really understand um, how, uh, how, how, how we saw it. And it was just, I'm, um, you know, it, we were a little speechless when all of this came out. I don't have a position on how he's going to resolve his own problems in real life, but I, I think as far as the filmmaker's concerned and the way you would, you know, handle this, first of all is to be delicate with it, um, but I think at the same time that's also the, the premise that they wrote, produced, and shot this film for. I mean, it was somewhat in a way to bring awareness to this issue. I mean, it's, it's, it's sensitive subject matter to begin with. So I think in light of the fact that these new allegations arose, I'm not sure it should change the filmmaker's approach to how he was trying to bring this subject matter to light.